seats on it and it's 15 metres long, but it's a special low area at the front for wheelchairs for easy access. And uh, there's a lot of interest in this today. Well, it gives them one-stop shopping to see what's on offer and they can sort of kick the tires, look at some of the products, you know. And a lot of business will be conducted here as well because uh, people pay a lot of money to exhibit, but they're hoping to make sales. And it's an opportunity for each company to manufacture to show what their, their best products are. And some people are announcing some big orders today which uh, are going to underpin a lot of jobs in the UK over the next 12 months. Alexander Dennis is a good example of that. You know, they've just managed to make a sale over 500 vehicles into the Hong Kong market. That's probably the biggest single order that there will be this year for export. I am optimistic. I think that public transport has come through the recession uh, reasonably well, and uh, there's still a great deal of interest. We're still getting people that are parking their cars and switching to public transport. There's still a lot of environmental challenges and issues. And we still think that uh, this is a product uh, and a business that's got a very good future. Norman Baker speaking here today, of course. Will, will you be looking to bend his ear? It's not Norman's ears we want to bend. We like to turn him upside down and shake some money out of his pockets, really. But uh, Norman has been very constructive and helpful in working with the industry and uh, is a real passionate believer in the role of public transport in Britain.